Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of our painting. Uh, today we're going to start a new painting, an African sunrise. I have my assistant Tiger uh, because we we are visiting Africa and after all he is a tiger. Um, we are going to start with two primary colors. I have red and I have yellow. Uh, one thing we need to know about these two primary colors is that yellow is a very uh, weak color as opposed to red. Red is very strong, which is why we need to start with yellow. Now this isn't for you, Kitty. Where are you going? Oh, okay, he just left. Alright, so we're going to start with yellow. And we're going to dip our brush. Remember, just the head gets wet. And just kind of twirl it around in there. The next thing we need to do is uh, we are going to cover our paper with yellow. We are going to use strokes that go across the page. This is actually a really thick yellow. I don't know if yours is going to be quite this thick. Um, all of our lines are going to go straight across from side to side. And you might say, hey, how are we going to create a sunset that's just all yellow? Well, we're actually going to add some red to it while it's still wet. And the trick is to get it while it's still wet and to mostly use the yellow. And we can leave the bottom without any paint on it if you want, because we're going to be... Uh, using some black for that later on anyway. Now I am using a lot of the paint that I squirted in there. So all the lines go back and forth and you're looking for an area that doesn't have any paint on it. And you're going to cover the entire sheet with yellow. Now, these are, if you remember, uh, red and yellow are both warm colors. We learned about that in kindergarten, so hopefully you remember uh, red and yellow are both warm colors. And the other warm color is what? Orange, correct. So now we're going to actually make the orange instead of actually use the orange. So watch what happens when we add some. Now you can just add some strokes anywhere you want. Now that looks really red, but we are going to keep on brushing onto it until it actually turns orange. Look how strong that is. Look how uh, that actually makes it look uh, very, very red, reddish orange. And you can add these strokes wherever you want on the page. You can make a transition. In other words, you can start at the very, very top and make it all red. And I think I need some more yellow, actually. And you can always add more yellow to it, too, if you think it's getting too strong. But it kind of makes like a really nice molded orange which looks really cool and you want to leave some of it yellow you don't want to turn the whole thing red or the whole thing orange you don't want one color when you look at a sunset you see lots of colors lots of beautiful colors so that's what we're going to create here and like I said if you want to leave the bottom half I feel like we need a little more yellow um, but that's going to be it for today um, and it should look something like this so you have all your strokes are going one direction and we've used two primary colors, a red and a yellow, to make a secondary color which is orange. Um, I will return with the next step in our African sunrise next time. Until then, enjoy!